My name is Mike Aben and welcome to my KSP campaign. We are here at Minmis Station and at the conclusion of the last episode, the Kegel 3 had just completed docking with it. So now we got to get ready to perform our mission, which is to get down to the surface of Minmis and recover Gilly and her scrap from the surface of Minmus and get it back to Kerbin. But before we do any of that, I am a little bit concerned with uh, weight and Delta V. So I want to make the Kegel 3, our lander here, as light as possible. So I'm going to start off with draining out all of its monoprop. It's not going to need any monopropellant to land. So we'll drain away. Okay, that tank filled up pretty quick. I know I got another tank here. Here, we'll just put it into the, command, the capsule here. So anyway, uh, yeah, we're going to drain out this monopropellant. And then we're going to send out Glyphia. And Glyphia is going to go one step further and actually remove the RCS blocks that are on the Kegel 3. Now that it doesn't have monopropellant, of course, the RCS blocks are just dead weight. The reason why I'm so concerned about weight and Delta V is because uh, Gilly Scrap is a Mark II cockpit that's down there on the surface of Minmus that we got to get back and we're going to strap that to the bottom of this lander and I'm not quite sure what effect that will have uh, on its delta V so I figure the lighter I can make it the better. Well, anyway Glafia has now completed her job. It's time to get into map view and see uh, how our orbit is doing in comparison to where Gilly is on the surface of Minmus. Oh oh my goodness well look where we are. Okay, so just make sure that is Minmus 1 and one of my little landers, but that is Gilly right there. Remember, Minmus is rotating to the east. Oh, we best get this show on the road. I don't think we're going to get a better opportunity than what we have right now. And undock. There we go. Oh, I am on... Uh, yeah, I can see I'm still on the station here. I have to switch the camera. And now that I switched the camera, you can see who our pilot is going to be, who is not a pilot at all. Instead, it's our engineer, Glafia. Yeah, right after stowing the RCS blocks aboard Minmus Station, Glafia immediately got into the pilot seat of the Kegel 3. Uh, the reason why it's an engineer is because, well, uh, she's going to have to attach uh the mark ii cockpit that's on the surface gilly's debris to the underside of this and that's going to require some kas and that requires the use of an engineer and there are only two seats in this landing capsule the other seat of course is going to be for gilly on her ride up i'm not going to have anybody ride up on the scrap capsule i think that would be uh not a safe thing to do so we'll set up here our maneuver and then we'll perform the descent burn saying goodbye to the station. Fia, though, is one of our veteran space engineers. So we have all the confidence in the world that she'll be able to pull this off. Okay, I just got rid of the maneuver note. I'm just going to do this by eyeball. You know, do we have trajectories all set up? So that should work okay for us. Oh, wait, let's turn that back on. Okay, well... Lock it onto retrograde and burn a little further. This is actually a bit of a steeper descent than I'm used to. I'm used to coming right down into low orbit. And I probably would have done that except for the fact that we are in the pretty close to the perfect position right now. So I want to, uh, want to take advantage of it and get right down to the surface as quickly as we can. Oh, 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 oh. I can see uh, Mimis is rotating so that Gilly will not be under our trajectory. Using a little my right hand rule, I know I need to burn anti-normal, so I'll put this on the anti-normal vector and push this trajectory a little bit sideways, a little bit towards the east. Oh, I think a little further than that. Oh, of course, I'm not burning to the east at all, I'm burning to the west. When Minmus, of course, rotates to the west. I don't know why I want, I'm, I'm left right east west challenged that's why i need the right hand rule <laughs> yeah there i i think that's looking all right just adjusting my trajectory a little bit more not paying attention to the fact that i just pushed my apple waps as well ahead of my current location so i actually am going up now i have a positive vertical velocity 
And then suddenly Trajectories decided to make an appearance, putting in its red X at its predicted landing spot. Now I can see that I still got to burn a little bit more towards the west. So again, we'll put ourselves on the anti-normal. Burn a little bit that way, push that X over. That's looking pretty good. And here I do have Gilly Scrap selected as a target, and I can see the target on the nav ball, but I, I don't see her, like the actual waypoint down below me. I'm very, very confused on this, but I thought I'd best start pushing my periapsis around. Now I'm falling pretty close to straight down. It should be right below me. But wait a second. I don't... <laughs> F4? There we go. Okay, I'm still, uh, what, about two and a half kilometers away. Yeah. Okay, let's cut down and lower in my descent. I guess I don't have to... kind of goes without saying that all this farting about uh, did not exactly make this the most efficient of descents. <laughs> I uh, really killed off way too much of my vertical velocity way too early. In fact, I spent a good part of this going up. And, uh, well, that comes into play a little bit later, but now that we're getting closer, I can see... Oh, nice, that the uh, cockpit is oriented so that it is pointed straight up. I wanted to land on top of it, but uh, clearly that's not going to work. I'm going to need to knock it over, so I'll just come down beside it. Alrighty. Just about there. You can see Gilly there, and I'm not getting any of those normal life support warnings. So just, oh, whoa, oh, we're down. Just sliding a little bit, but uh, everything seems to be fine. All right, so let's get the ghillie here. Oh, what's, oh no, that's still a capsule, a cockpit. There's ghillie, and wait a minute, ghillie a guy? I thought ghillie was a girl. Okay, I can see that uh, he <laughs> now has life support about a quarter of all the life support there so that's pretty good but why don't actually wait 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 why don't we uh plant a flag yeah there's about a quarter of the life support so he's probably got a little over an hour of life support left but let's plant a flag he's getting experience for being on the surface of min mist but you get a little bit more experience for putting down a flag so let's do that and oh it says zoltonic electronics it's not my flag all right uh let's see gilly scrap and what should we type here for our message? It's about friggin' time. <laughs> yeah, he's been on the surface here for quite some time. Uh, I don't know when I got this contract. It's funny to think how long they've been here for. But let's uh, get him into the cockpit here and see if we can not knock it over. Hopefully it has a bit of electricity still in it. Okay, B... And checking the resources here, we got a smidge of electricity, so SAS on, let's pitch forward, knock this thing over, and whoa, 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 whoa. okay, just wait, SAS off. <laughs> that was a little more vigorous than I expected in Mimis' low gravity. Okay, everything seems to be all right. Okay, so we'll get Gilly back into the Kegel 3. Actually, he's never been in it yet, so we'll get him into the Kegel 3. And then we got us some science to do. Yeah, we might as well get some science. I have no idea what biome this is, so we'll open this up. Oops, sorry. Observe Materials Bay. There we go. Oh, we're in the Highlands. Excellent. This was one of the biomes that Bob did not get when he was on the surface. Bob is our only Kerbal to be on the surface of Mimis. Now we're adding two more. And uh, he managed to hit a number of biomes at that time. So this is great. We're, we happen to be in a biome that he has yet to visit. Oh, I should show, I got X Science installed here. Um, I used to have Science Alert. Science Alert doesn't seem to be working with uh, version 1.1. So we're using X Science here. It works a little differently. Instead, it gives you a list of everything that you have available. So it says here that I can do a temperature scan. So I do a temperature scan. And you can see it fills in that bar there on the menu on the right. So we got ourselves a nice list. There we go. So we'll just collect all this. I know Glafia is just an engineer and Gilly is a pilot. 
Oh, wait a minute. I'm just looking at Gilly's uh, portrait down there at the bottom. And Gilly's back to being a female again. I am so confused. Obviously, texture replacers having... It's confused as well. Anyway, once we collected this science, it was time to see if we could maneuver the Kegel over top of gilly scrap that we have to recover so that the fia can uh, latch onto it and it is right around here that i deeply regretted removing that monoprop and that those rcs blocks this is uh really kind of annoying well certainly part of this is my own ineptitude and lack of skill coming into play but uh you know if i had rcs this would be a lot easier because you could just use the main engines to just hover and then use rcs to translate side to side okay okay we're getting close here yeah get get in there ah! whoa whoa okay stop everything stop <laughs> this is why Gilly's not in her cockpit. <sighs> okay, well, you're getting an idea of how this uh, progressed. And eventually, I did manage to sort of snuggle over top of it. Okay, put it down. Oh, that's, I think, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to go with this. I mean, it is a little off-center. Ideally, I'd love to have the center of mass right underneath the lander, but I think I can fly with it like this. So let's get rid of the rendezvous data from Kerbal Engineer. Don't need that anymore. And we'll get out Glafia, and Glafia is going to go and hook this up. Oh, and by the way, I'd already had Glafia out once before. I made sure she planted a flag so she could get the experience for planting a flag on the surface of Minmus. But right now, her main mission is going to be to use KAS to hook this up. So right here, I have a pipe endpoint. We're going to have to start with the pipe endpoint. You can't start with the struts. Um, the struts won't connect two different vessels together. So you first have to make the vessels into one vessel. And you do that with the pipe endpoints, because the pipe endpoints are made to uh, connect two different vessels together. Now, there should be a second one around here somewhere. Where is it? I must have used just two times symmetry. It must just be on the opposite side here. It is. I see it. You know what, let's, let's try it. No, no, let's put Glafia down. Just put her down here on the cockpit. I suspect she's still close enough to grab it. Okay, and we will attach this to the bottom. Oh, here, we'll put it in our inventory first. And you take a look at the bottom here. I'm gonna put one pipe endpoint at the bottom of the Kegel. There we go, and we will link to that. And then we'll put the other endpoint on top of the cockpit. And link once again, and there we go. And now the game sees these this all as one vessel, so we can start using these strut endpoints to firm this up because the pipe connection certainly can't be used in any sort of firm way. So we'll take two of these. I have eight all together. I want to put four of these struts in play. Let's see if, how many of these I can grab just from where she's standing right here. The reach in KAS is pretty surprising sometimes. There we go. There's a third one. And I can't reach that one. That one's a little too far. But let's... Uh... No, I can't. Oh, wait. I can get it. There we go. Okay. All right. She has one more slot in her inventory. Let's see if I can reach the last one. We went over here. They're all evenly spaced around. Yep, there we go. Okay, well, that's that's it. That's as many as she can carry for now. So let's start putting struts together. Move a little closer. i got to think about how I'm going to do this. I want to space them around pretty evenly. So we'll put one over here. 
And then we'll put the other one on the side here. And then again, just like it is with the pipes, you just select link, link it to the other one. Boom, done. And these are surprisingly stiff. This should be a pretty solid connection once we're all done. So we'll just cut to putting in the last one. All right, and link. Boom, done, there we go. Okay, so we'll get Glafia inside and we'll get ourselves out of here. Now, of course, as Minmus rotates, we're getting further and further away from being underneath the trajectory of, uh, or the orbit of Minmus Station. So, I mean, we could wait until we are on the other side, wait for half a Minmus day, but uh, rather than doing that, I think time can, I think we're best served by just getting out of here right away. Right, we're off and we want to pitch towards the north. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my gosh, the SAS is off. I hate that. When you leave the cockpit, it turns off. I always forget that that happens. Okay, come on, I gotta get up. Oh wow, it really wants to yaw. <laughs> oh, slow down, slow down. I can't use that much thrust. But I'm not that far off the surface either. <laughs> up, 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 up. I want to get some altitude. Okay, I think I'm doing okay. Whoa, as I increase the thrust, it just wants to yaw over that way. I want... I am definitely going more sideways than up. I don't like that. It is a good thing that I am in a relatively flat area. If there were any hills in front of me, I'd be in trouble. I'm also not going that close to going north either. We need to go northwards. And pull that prograde vector towards the north. Okay, I think I got this now. I think I'm okay. Yep, I'm again using a lot of fuel doing this. I guess that's not surprising. Okay, my apoapsis is just under 10 kilometers. We're going up. I guess that's something. Oh my gosh. And we are quite a way away from the uh, Minmus Station's orbit. So I still want to pull this way, but we'll ride this up towards Apoapsis. Wow, that really kind of caught me off guard how much that, I guess I shouldn't be too surprised that it wanted the yaw over that way. The center of mass of my vehicle is clearly being pulled to one side by that cockpit that we have under there, but it's sticking under there really well. So, I mean, there's a plus. So we'll cut up to our apoapsis of our trajectory and get right to our insertion burn. As long as I keep my thrust pretty low, it can hold that prograde vector without too much problem. So I'm just going to keep burning until I have a stable orbit. And then I'll have to make a decision whether we're going to go up to Minmus Station or whether we're going to send the Karayan down here to come get us but at least once we're in an orbit we'll have our options okay we are now in a positive periapsis we're in a little bit further okay it's about 8.3 kilometers periapsis let's 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 see if we can get it up 10 by 10 if it's 10 but i mean i think we're good where we are but there we go. So 10 kilometers by 10 kilometers. Closer you are to circular, the easier the rendezvous get. So I thought that'd be worthwhile. Okay, we are in a stable orbit. They do have a fair amount of life support, so they can hang out here for quite some time. But I do have about 160 meters per second delta V left. That should be plenty. The inclination change is not that much. So let's uh, push this up a little bit. There we go. And I can see we got the ascending node up there. We should go for an encounter near where that ascending node is up there at the North Pole of Minmus. And after a little bit of playing around, I got what looks like a close encounter. It's kind of glitching in and out. It's hard to sort of tell. Ah, the heck with it. Let's burn this anyway. Now what I'm going to do, I'm hoping that this will help with the yaw issue is adjusting the thrust. I mean, if my center of mass is off center, let's see if we can adjust the thrust so it will be off center as well. So we're gonna reduce the thrust on this guy. I am completely 
eyeballing this and this one. So the two that are way out here, away from where the center mass of the cockpit are, I'll turn those ones down. Okay, let's burn this maneuver and see how this turns out. Taking it easy here at the start. Oh, it drifted over there a little bit. Put it back on the maneuver node. Uh, yeah, no, let's, let's do this. We're getting really close to the node. I'll just have to keep correcting. Pulling over towards the left. This is working okay. All right, let's see what this looks like in map view. It's still kind of glitchy. I can't really see it. Okay, well, let's get rid of the maneuver, and we'll just kind of hold this vector and... Okay, I don't seem to be anywhere near. Burn a little bit. Uh, I am not getting a close encounter. I don't know what happened to the ones that the maneuver node was telling me I had. But right now, it's looking like I am coming nowhere near min -miss station. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, we're going to have to find a way to correct for this. But I think that's going to have to be for the next episode. I thank you for watching and hope to see you again next time.